been a fan of yours? How many folks have been here five times? Up to five. Up to five. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You guys got the disease. We get it. Awesome. How about ten? Ten times. Okay. How about twenty plus? Yeah, there's a bunch of us out here, right? There's a bunch of us out here. Yeah, round of applause for everybody that's out there, right? So what you can hear for the first time, when you hear 20 plus, but we all have the same passion, and we're out there kind of going for it. Hey, we also want to do a quick understanding of how far you guys came. How about 50 miles or less? Well, we got a couple of close ones. We got a couple of close ones. There you go. How about 50 to 100 miles? We got some more. We got some more. How about 100 to 200 miles? Okay. Some more. How about up to 500? 200 to 500. Nice. How about over 500? Yeah, 300 people. Holy moly. <laughs> we really a special, aren't we? You right? Anybody from out of the country? Thank you, international people. We appreciate that. We experience. True global experience. We appreciate that. More prizes. Pink or blue? Blue. 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 Ticket number 067697. 067697. Going once. Twice. No ticky, no winnie. Ticket number. <clears throat> One two four zero zero two. I heard somebody swallow off. <laughs> One two four zero zero two. There we go, yo. We got a winner. There's a round of applause.
Uh, this doesn't happen without their support. So we tell, thank you. You know, you guys are in a room somewhere. I appreciate it. And, and we can't forget to thank Mom and Jim. This will never happen without us. and the time it takes to make this go, none of us have any idea whatsoever. So again, big thank you for them. It, it doesn't happen without Mark and Jennifer from Mattel. It just does not happen. So, so those folks right there are making the go. We've got, well, we need your help. We've got a birthday. <laughs> See that? His name is Robert Hensley. He's seven years old today. Yeah. He's at his first half of his match. Could, could we get a little happy birthday? Robert, where are you? It's a good idea. We do it. Where are you? Where? <laughs> there is two. There's another one out there. Who's the other one? She's hiding. There she is. <laughs> there you go. How about a little happy birthday? second they just finishing up their award. Ticket number 447, Frank. 
pops it. In the building, 447, Frank Proffer. We got a whoop. Going once. Going twice. Next person. You're still in it. You are. Ticket number 631, Sergio Yeah, they Ramos. gave him away a um, bingo. It's like six different colors. It's one orange, pink, brown, black, and I think green or red. They gave him a bingo and various events from this Nationals. Hey, Paul. Right there, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I missed it. Prize and reward. Oh, you missed it. What up, mates? The show's gonna start in a second. They finish up the rules. This is for the 22nd Collectors Nationals in Charlotte, North Carolina from 2022. We got nine different super bands. Red, white, blue, gold, purple, orange, metallic blue, yellow, green. Pink VW drag bus and an orange T1 drag, a T1 VW bus. All right, it's ticket number 067853. 067853. Oh, I see a Folks, I'm going to turn the mic over to Paul D'Angie. He has the charity report for all the money that we've raised here at this Nationals. We got a winner as well. So round of applause oh, and give it up to Paul. It didn't post it. It took it out. Oh, yeah. No, I'm going to give you a little report on what we've done. Everybody says, oh, the charity raised uh, a lot of money. The charity group. Oh, we're the charity group. We didn't raise the money. We couldn't raise anything without you guys. Everybody participated. I mean, I'm looking out at the audience, and I, I, so many people participated in what we did over the course of the week. So you guys, all of you, raised the money. Without you, we couldn't do anything. We're just the instrument. You guys can deliver the goods to make the world a little better place for a few kids, a few parents that can't afford to do what they want to do without our help. So, big round of applause for yourselves. Let's do it. Now, Carl gave all the thanks and everything for everybody. So it's no sense me reiterating what he's done before. I'm just going to give you some gross numbers that we raised, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, the sale of the charity car, another great Night Stalker piece, totally sold out, 650 pieces, 26,000 gross dollars raised. <laughs> charity raffle. We couldn't keep you guys away from buying the raffle tickets. Uh, $6,620 on raffle tickets. Come on, guys, that's great. Let me go. We had a lot of fun there. They have contributed another $24,000. Looker, 4400 
Mania, 2,400. Sale of past charity cards. You don't think there's a lot going on, but that contributed another $3,385. Awesome. Charity auction, 30 FEPs, uh, Zamax, uh, uh, resins, things that you just don't see, all donated and graciously by Mattel for us to raise the money. So I will thank Mattel. I think that was the lion's share of the money that was raised. Thank you very much. The rest all goes to you folks for participating, making the events exciting like they always are. So we had a great time last night. $50,275. We were, we were into the $49,000 and we were trying to break $50,000. Uh, the last contribution, and I'm going to mention the gentleman's name, put us over the top. And it's a fun story because of what it took for them to do it. It's a great friend and great customizer from Customs, <laughs> Carl Martin Sanger. His wife knits socks. His $320 raised put us over that $50,000 mark. Well, that's very funny. received extra cash donations and there were two major donations made and I'm going to specifically mention them because it's important for the cause that they were raised and what they did with the money afterwards. We received a check from Corey Spencer. This was a separate event that took place last year. It was in honor of Hardy Adams. I think that's a wonderful contribution. That was a 2022 Cardi Adams event. This year, same thing took place. Columbus, Ohio, this Nationals, in honor and remembrance of Hardy Adams, another $1,200 was raised. So thank you very much for your graciousness and what you contributed to the charity. Last but not least, we had a lot of extra e-sheets. Hard to get. People really loved getting them. Uh, they were all packaged by uh, Mark and Jennifer prior to this. We sold them out. We have none left. Uh, we raised $4,650 on the sale of the Ishii. So thank you, everybody here for participating. Grand total for this event, $124,440. Thank you, each and every one. sit down again and Carl makes me walk back with more prizes. Let's give Carl a round of applause for all the hard work he does, keeping his events on time, and giving us all the things that we need to have done in a normal fashion. Thanks everybody, 124,000 plus, that's amazing. A lot of applause for everybody in this room, came out of our office, right? Great job. Alright, we're not going to take any more time because we're going to introduce Mattel. They're going to take the stage. He's been out his mouth. Tell us some of the stuff that's coming out and go through their program. So give us two minutes. We swap out, swap out a laptop and get you guys going. Give us a minute. Are right, you ready? It's about to start.
I'm gonna put it on the screen in a second, Blasty, so you take your screenshots. Brendan 
Hogan's most favorite. It's a Larry Wood design. Yeah, so I it's, can't take credit. It's a Hot Wheels Gasser mini collection. Yeah, it's, it's, awesome. it's like your life. Yes, this this will be like thousands of dollars on eBay or up in any of the rooms up here. Uh, and you can find it in stores. No, it's it not will really. be sold out. Yeah, or still in transit. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh in our J Imports, and just so you guys know, J Imports does not stand for Jimmy Imports, although I like to think that. <laughs> There's a car I did a long, long time ago, the Dodge Charger 500, and that looks like in the then and now mix, and I would guess that was then. <laughs> Jeep J10, the 73 vintage, uh, uh, Baja style. 
A uh, few people have accused me of being into off-road lately. Uh, Baja Blazers. It's coming out pretty soon. We did it for you. 
and we're happy you like it. Uh, some other stuff that I uh, had on my table at the signings, the multi-packs, it's the European uh, car culture multi-pack. Car culture's not, it's not really car culture, but you know, cool, through six cool European models from each of the major OEMs. And then we're going to be doing another uh, Zaymac exclusive Mommy. Walmart. That's it for me. with car culture. Mark, come up here and join me. Mark has a car. The Godfather, everybody. <laughs>
class DTF car, which uh, you've seen in several variations, but I like this one a lot. Uh, Van has had uh, fun trying to get all the licensors correct, but uh, we hope you'll enjoy that. Yeah, Th this one's a, a fictional livery that yes. Warriors using uh, Inga, but uh, this one's near and dear to me because this was like one of my first RC cars back in the day. Um, and I had the D2 livery, which we did previously, so this is the second iteration of it. We all live to do Jimmy's cars from his youth. <laughs> <laughs> and your chase for the mix is the Porsche 935. So there is actually something to say about this package. Um, back in, I believe it was 2017, we did uh, the first race day mix in which we uh, oh, put all the cars together on the track racing. And then just kind of zoomed in on each one. And that was done to try and feel of an actual race. It doesn't feel like a race if there's only one car, right? So you need to have all the cars. And so we were able to do the same thing here again. So all these cars are actually part of one big race team. And then we were able to just zoom in on each one and to help to create that feeling of an actual race. So you can see, you know, on the Audi package, the is down there in the bottom, all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of neat the way that that was done. And, uh, Glad to be able to do stuff like that again. So, thank you. Well, all right. One more mix of car culture? Yes? Yeah. I don't even know what this is called. Oh, modern classics. A uh, reuse of the modern classics game. Uh, this one I'm pretty excited about. It's via 131 Avon. Um, I just think it's a cool rally car that goes with a lot of our others. And, uh, next up, go. Anybody around here been waiting for Corrado to come out? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Corrado VR6. Slightly modified. Well, a lot of modified. <laughs> next up, the Toyota Altezza. Otherwise known as Alexis in this country, but uh, this is the Alteza version. Hopefully somebody's been waiting for this. Leeway has one and he has a bumper sticker on it that says Prius Bait. Mad Mike's uh, transporter. So we have the, the RX-7 
anniversary, uh, Sakura Spring. America. <laughs> what can you say? <laughs> so that is uh, the C3. Um, and then the individual C3 is going to get the four that's going on. Um, here is the C4, C5. And then the four is going to go down on the individual. Yeah. So we have the C3 and the the new one and you can see in the image uh, it compared to our 164th version oh sorry about that now it makes more sense doesn't it anyways there we are so um, and let's go to the next page this isn't the highest part count car but The next one, 
bigger because the cars are bigger <laughs> and, uh, but the, the key feature here is that this is actually something that we've heard people you know kind of ask for for a long time and it's a package that you can open take the car out of and then put the car back in and close without damaging the package Whoa! Z06, very exotic Corvette. Going into mix two, we will have Mach 1 Mustang. Hey, Mustang fans. Yeah, that was constant, King. It's like on premium was the Boulevard. I want to show you, one of the things that's common in the line is we want to make sure to have 